Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, sports fans and mopes, I'm here to tell you about this wonderful thing called the cane or the walking stick. It comes to you from Orville and Elmo Springer, former Hopedale Stags basketball players from the 1940s and early 50s, and they happened to play against the freshman Bradley Braves in 1949 as the preliminary to the first game ever played in Robertson Memorial Fieldhouse. And this cane, along with the others that they are making, is fashioned from bleachers in the field house. Now, canes can be used as walking sticks, as that's what most people use them for. However, we have come up with some other uses for these marvelous tools. Now, the first thing you can obviously use the walking stick for is as a walking stick. You can use it walking through this white field of background snow as we have here. Or you can go out to Forest Park Nature, Nature Center or one of the other fine trails around the area and use it to help yourself pick over that uneven turf. You can even help yourself go up and down stairs with it. That's one way to do it. Always, however, make sure you have that hat in case you run across those fine ladies that want to be taken by a suave, debonair gentleman. And if that doesn't work for them, you can always strike the Sly Stallone pose. Hey, ladies what you say. Most obvious thing we use a stick for this time of year in May is its baseball season. This is my vintage LA Angels cap from the very first year that the LA Angels were in existence in 1961 and here we are up at bat. Yes siree. Daddy Wags, Leon Wagner coming to the plate. Coming at you. Albie Pearson, little Albie five foot five. Yeah my hero. I got a bobblehead of it. You can also play hockey. Drop the puck. Ha! And don't forget to cross check. Yeah! The other thing that you can use a walking stick for, or a stick of any kind, is to play that flute. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I gotta hold it correctly. Or, for you rock and roll fans out there, there is always the air stick. Don't like my guitar? Okay, how about this, ladies? Maybe lock the door and turn the lights down low. Put some music on that's soft and slow. Don't know how to play music? Be the leader of the band. 76 trombones play the big parade. 110 clarinets right behind. Those aren't the words, but you know, it's been 50 years since I saw it. Now, one of my favorite things to do with the pole at this time of year is go fishing. In order to go fishing, you must not only have a proper pole, you must also have a line and bait. Okay, now what do you catch with bait like this? I don't know, let's see. Yes, look what I got! Yes, this is when you fish with a money clip. This is what you get. I'm going fishing for the big hundreds next. Now, I think that the first thing that I ever remember using a stick for, other than to maybe beat my little brother, was to ride the pony. You got, you know, your riding stick. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah, that a baby. Although you can also ride like the proper Englishman. I was always kind of partial to Monty Python myself. Okay, men and women, you don't get a body like this without some work. So you can use this stick throw some weights on the end, and you weight lift. Of course, sometimes the best thing for a stick is to relieve stress. I just can't take it any more! At the end of a long, hard day of work like this, I'm hungry. So this makes the perfect donut holder. The donut kebab. Mmm, good.